What do Emma Stone, John Mayer, and Amanda Seyfried all have in common? They've all publicly admitted to suffering from panic attacks. Those who've experienced one will tell you it can feel crippling, life-threatening, but it doesn't have to be. Psychiatrist Dr. Dominic Sportelli joins us now via Skype to give us three tips to help calm a panic attack. So, Dom. Hey, guys. Dr. Sportelli, I love that we're going over this because obviously there are medications that people will take if they're having a panic attack, but these are non-medicinal ways that you can potentially break the spell, if you will, of a panic attack. So, so talk us through what people can do. Yeah, you got it. So listen, guys, four million people suffer from panic attacks, and most people don't even report it, so that number is probably so much higher than that. And guess what? You can add one name to your list, and that's me. I have suffered from panic attacks. They're horrifying. They're incredibly scary, and psychiatrists are not immune. I'm glad you admitted that, Doc, because sometimes those people who seem the most cool, calm, and collected, and, and who are, can still have panic attacks, and it's not anything yes. to be ashamed of. At all. So I'm glad that you're personally someone who knows how to treat it, but also ha have experienced it. Can you do us a favor? Can you, sure. Before you go into the three tips, can you talk about, even in your own personal experience, what, what happens when you're having a panic attack? It's a physiologic response. It's actually an evolutionary response to save our lives, believe it or not. Here's the thing, your body thinks that it's running from a saber-toothed tiger. So your heart rate increases, you, you get short of breath, you start to sweat, your, your muscles tense up, blood goes to different places in your body so your GI system gets crampy and you get nauseous. So the thing is that you're not running from a tiger, you're probably just at a business meeting or you know on the stage at the doctor's or on Skype, right? <laughs> so here's the important thing. It's an overreaction to a perceived threat. People become afraid of being afraid. So if you understand what causes the panic attack and you understand how to deal with it, it's less scary. So what we wanna do is put the brakes on the sympathetic nervous system and activate what's called the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is the parasympathetic nervous system, but it basically slows down all of those symptoms, the racing heart, the shortness of breath, the nausea, the shaky, the sweaty feeling. And we have ways to activate that vagus nerve and calm your body down without medications. So what's tip number one, Dr. Sportelli? All right, this is literally, when I say literally ground yourself, I mean it. I mean, take off your shoes, get comfortable, Put your feet on the ground. Make sure you're in a safe place. If you're driving, pull over, for example. But if you're in your house or in your office, take your shoes off, put your feet on the ground, feel the ground. And at that point, you're gonna take slow, deep breaths. Taking slow, deep breaths activates that vagus nerve that we were talking about. So you're gonna take a deep breath in for five seconds, you're gonna hold for two, and you're gonna go out for five. Just that act is gonna slow your heart rate down and prevent that snowball that we're feeling. And I love your second tip because this is something that we can use sometimes in the ER, something sometimes we all do for fun after a hot run, <laughs> but what, what is your tip number two? So tip number two, if you have the availability, guys, fill up your sink with a really, really cold sink full of water, ice cold, as cold as you can make it, and dunk your head directly into the water. That will, or has been shown, to slow your heart rate down by up to 25%, and that can break a panic attack in and of itself. And talk to us about this last tip that involves, whether it be caressing or self-massaging, what, what is that? Yeah, I love this one, so this one's great. And I rolled up my sleeves for you guys. So this is called the wrist forearm technique. And what you're gonna do is, again, keep in mind, rounding, feet on the floor, comfortable, the breathing techniques that we talked about. And at the same time, grab your elbows and drag your hands along your forearms down to your wrists. And then just repeat, do that again. It's just a little self-massage, nice and easy. It's very, very soothing. At the same time, breathing. And before you know it, you're gonna be super calm Super chill. Well, Great I mean, focus on that act, on that exercise, it, it does exactly. have a calming yeah. effect. Exactly, because you know, part of it is just distracting your mind from thinking something horrible is gonna happen.